Hey there, welcome to another episode of Monane Designs. I'm your host Monane, this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation Vita. So, the way that I got into the PlayStation Vita is a little bit of an interesting story. I actually did not purchase a Vita, Vita outright. I made a trade with someone, and this person, when I moved into my house, I found out they were, you know, lived in the neighborhood and that they were a video game collector because they had a East t shirt on, and I recognized it. And it was Captain Natron, who's a, a fellow YouTuber. You know, he's kind of dropped off a little bit, but I'm hoping by now he's picked it back up and has continued to go on. He's very famous for his no continue run on a Super Famicom shoot 'em up based on Macross. I think it's a, I think it's Macross. Do you remember Love? But I could be wrong. But so what happened was he had a PlayStation TV that was extra, and we worked out a trade. I had a few things he wanted in in my you know, in my trade bait, and that was in his, and I was kind of interested in the Vita, and we made the trade, and it worked out, and after that, I bought an actual PlayStation Vita and a couple of other games, and these are just some of my favorite games for the Vita. They're not in any particular order, but here we go. So, first up, we have Dragon's Crown by Vanillaware and Atlas, made in 2013. This is a great beat em up, despite all of the bad press it gets for its artwork and its over the top character artwork and, and stuff like that. Yes, it gets a lot of flack for it, but I love the RPG elements, I love the storyline, I love how things unlock. I love being able to play with my friends online. You know, this is everything a beat em up game should be in the modern age. Next up, we're going to have Freedom Wars. It's 2014 by Sony Interactive Entertainment. This is a great runaround shooting style game. The, the world is very weird where you have to earn your freedom and you earn little freedoms and you can actually mess up and lose your freedom and stuff and you know get placed back into servitude and stuff like that. It's, one visually a very good game. The combat system is great. The gameplay is wonderful. You should definitely check this game out. It's one of the more famous games on the Vita. Next up we have Muramasa Rebirth, 2013 by Oxus Games. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a beautiful side-scrolling game, side-scrolling adventure, Castlevania style. You get to choose between two different characters. The music is wonderful. En encountering the bosses is great. Learning how to get through the navigate through the stages and stuff like that is just a beautiful, beautiful game. Next, we have Spy Hunter for the Vita on that was released 2012 by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. I love the Spy Hunter series. I love the more modern Spy Hunter series as well. You know, when it started on the PlayStation 2 as being a driving simulator with the Spy Hunter elements added to it. This is basically a continuation of that. They use the touchscreen mechanics very well with this game. It's a very cheap pickup for the Vita. And, and I would, you know, I can't suggest it enough, especially for how cheap you can pick it up. And I normally don't give props to digital-only games, but Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, released 2018 by NT Creates, I believe. I'm having a hard time reading my notes. But this is a Castlevania game that is just unbelievably good. You get to swap between three different characters. They play very differently. The level design is 
harsh and punishing, but also very rewarding. And just a whole lot of fun. It's just a really, really great game. As a bonus game that I've just kind of forgot to include on this list, the Kill Zone game on the Vita is wonderful. I'm having a hard time remembering in any of the other details of it, of like when it was released or anything like that, but I'll, I'll try to post it in the notes below. But the, the Kill Zone game is great. It's the last battle is very harsh. It's got a very good storyline. You can go through and just play as much as you want. It's still Kill Zone. It still has that, that feel to it. And it's a wonderful game. And it's probably one of the best first person shooters that is on the Vita. But these were some of my favorites. Guys, if you have favorites on the Vita, please let me know in the comments below. If there's a game that I that I should be checking out or anything like that, I definitely love my Vita. Even though the Vita's been discontinued, I still love it. It's kind of an underdog system for me. But like I said, please comment about any game that you think I should check out. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.